Yesterday, Apple took their apps of iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. So if you have missed the announcement and in case you want to know more about them, then this video is for you. So in this video, I'll let you guys know 10 things to know about iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus and also give my initial impressions or in initial thoughts on it. So let's get started. So guys let's start with the build quality. The build quality is still aluminium which is really solid in from iPhone 6s and now they are saying that they have improved the build quality. Antenna bands are now moved up top which actually looks to be good and there is a camera bump present too. Apple has omitted the 3.5mm audio jack, more on audio jack a bit later. Moving on to color options available, now there is new color that is jet black, just black rose gold gold and silver and if you want to get the jet black you have to go with 128 gb variant and now 32 gb is the best variant which is a very good thing more on it later moving on to the second thing is the water resistance the iphone 7 and the iphone 7 plus are both water resistant they are both ip67 certified which means they are water resistant up to 1 meter and for 30 minutes which is another thing moving on to the third thing is they have omitted the 3.5 mm audio jack as i have already told you but they will be providing a adapter from lightning adapter to 3.5 mm audio jack and they are provided bluetooth earpods in box so which is another good thing but you have to charge those bluetooth earpods so that's something i don't like and they have also improved the audio quality of the device now the audio quality is stereo and they are saying that the audio's loudness is actually double than that of iphone 6s now the fourth thing is that apple has introduced a new home button the new home button is actually pressure sensitive now and this provides a lot lots of customization and touch id is included in that button too Moving on to Touch ID, they have improved that too and it will be very fast now. Moving on to the cameras of iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. iPhone 7 has a 12 megapixel f1.8 lens which is now improved over the camera of iPhone 6s. Improvements here, but now both the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus will have OIS. Whereas we talk about iPhone 7 Plus more, it will be having dual 12 megapixel sensors. One is the normal sensor that is found on iPhone 7 and other is the telephoto lens which can get you about optical 2x zoom. So 4K video recording is still supported. They have given the OIS the both front and the rear support slow motion videos at 240fps at 720 Talking about the front selfie camera, it is actually a 7 megapixel unit. Yes, a 7 megapixel unit which is capable of full HD recording at normal resolution and also as I have told you it can also record slow motion videos with new software the raw video capture is also there and for live photos there is an option for optical image stabilization too now when we move to the specification side of things the base variant of iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 plus will be 32 GB other variants include 128 GB and 256 GB if you want to get the jet black color, you have to go with 128GB or 256GB. There is Apple's A10 chip inside which is a fusion chip and is a quad core chip. The first two cores are high performance cores, the other two cores are balanced cores. This chip is 40% faster than the A9 chip from iPhone 6s and when we talk about GPU, it, it is a 6 core GPU. Apple says that it is 66% more power efficient. Moving on to the display, here I am annoyed at Apple because iPhone 7 is having 4.7 inch display but the display is still HD. Although they are saying that they have given retina display and it is 25% more brighter but a full HD display was welcomed. iPhone 7 plus have a full HD display improved over the iPhone 6s plus. Now when we talk about battery life. Apple has not mentioned the exact battery life of these devices but Apple says that iPhone 7 will have 2 hours more battery backup than iPhone 6s and iPhone 7 plus will have 1 hour more battery backup than iPhone 6s plus. Now we get to the final thing that is pricing. Wait, one more thing. These two devices will be running iOS 10 
out of the box and apple says that they have improved the software a lot and it is the most advanced os in the world no no most advanced but yes the iphone or the ios 10 is very reliable now we will move to pricing the pricing for th uh, 32gb iphone 7 starts from 649 us dollars and goes up to 849 us dollars for 256 gb variant iphone 7 plus has a price tag st starting from 759 us dollars and goes up to 979 dollars availability in india will start from 7th october and the base variant iphone 7 32 gb variant will cost us 60000 rupees so that's roughly 32% more than what other users are getting globally but this smartphone actually promises promises a lot my thoughts are on it are that yes this smartphone is looking expensive but what i am interested is in iphone 7 plus because it is having a dual camera setup and let's see whether that camera can help in video recording or not some guys are saying that iphone 7 plus can replace a dslr but i don't think yes there are improvements i am looking forward to those improvements so that was pretty much it from the video if you have liked hit that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel and for more such videos like this please subscribe to our channel and if you want to follow me on facebook twitter instagram etc all the links are given in the description box down below so this is Sai from Tech Quick signing off. Thank you guys for watching and we will meet in next one.